So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the fox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the fox. Want my ship. And the vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. Let her find Elizabeth before she lights out. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they are unhappy with their lives. Why torment yourself? They fire the man? Flying squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more.
You want to know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! hey just just stop for me. a minute! Just want to talk to you. I said, stay away. Ugh. Elizabeth, Get just hold up for me. a minute. Stay I'm away. not angry with you. Hey, watch out! Move it. Move. Stay back. God damn it. Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way in.
I'm slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. <sighs> Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? <sighs> you're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my confidence, Steve. You are a means to an end. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know you're going to work hard. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will see what those hyenas... Made of, I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside? Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of them. It's depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. History tells us the painter Seurat would take no money for his art. Why, George Washington would only accept the presidency if he were paid a single dollar a year. So, don't let money come between you and your crown. going to get into Finkton. Illegally. Let's look for another way. Interesting. Found some money. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Let me see. Done. Just what the doctor ordered. this lock. There. Over there. A service elevator. Should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. For the glory of Columbia!
Elizabeth, a little help? Okay. Ready. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. You hold on to this. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Man's got an ego. Some say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Think Company store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Think worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss. 
but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? Starting bid. 20 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes now bid 14. Will you give me 14? 10. 10 minutes bid now 10. Will you give me 9? 9. I nine bid 9. Bid. Not 9. Will you give me 8? I they're saying, friend, what you do doesn't matter. Friend, you're being taken for a fool. But friend, you're no better than a slave. Well, here's what you tell those stuffed shirts. You say, I ain't no slave. I ain't no fool. I am. That poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. That'll do. Got it.
Mahatma Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working? In fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. You know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. And uh, well, why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? No, <laughs> let's be clear. I would like... Watch out, oh, the handyman! <laughs> Changed your sense of that. Job's a job. What is this? I'm just going to head inside and find Mr. Link. Just call me what you want to. Chen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Booker Fireman!
without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. No Pick this one up and I'll hide you there for a song. There's no fun at me. From you, Papa. Lady, let me pass your test. They're trying to do things. Got it! interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm interested. <laughs> This? I'll give it a whirl. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Man, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there is precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. That's it. That's 
for the clock shop. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn fool. What's that smell? No, you can Ain't no problems down here. Done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much money. No. No, he doesn't. Locked. Elizabeth? Give me a second. Got it. Here's some cash. Out with this lock. I'll see what I can do. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas! Too late. God damn it. Nick. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did. I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. 